Hey, welcome back. It's Carl here. Today in SQL, we're going to be going over how to use the in operator in the where clause. The in operator is used to specify multiple possible values for a column. Let's go ahead and break this down. So first thing we want to do is pick a first thing we want to do is pick a table. So we're going to go with the customer table. So let's select all from customer. So we have the customer table selected and the way this is going to work is we're just going to utilize the state column. So the state column, I'm just going to pick a few states and we're going to use the end clause in order to do that or the end statement in order to do that with the where clause. <coughs> so let's go ahead and set the scene. So we're going to say select all from customer where state in and then we have to use parentheses and then we do single quotes to select the states that we want so we're going to use ohio and then we have to do a comma and then let's just use texas for the other one and then after we do that we can do our semicolon select and then hit f5 so now what we've done is we use the word clause to select two different states by saying select where state is in Ohio and Texas so let's select all and just do it one more time so this time instead of Ohio and Texas let's just say Virginia California and to say Maryland and we'll hit F5 so you see that only two came back and the reason for that is if you don't spell it right then this is what happens so likes we forgot our I on Virginia so we're gonna try it again and then boom so there it is we've used the end statement in our where clause and now we know how to use the instant in SQL.